Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So one of the questions we've had is how to spot a losing streak. Now, you may be thinking, well, it's pretty obvious how you spot a losing streak, you're losing money. No, there's a distinct difference, right, between is it generally a losing streak that needs to be stopped? As in, hey, you know what? Your strategy's not working anymore. And if you carry on down this path, you're gonna undo everything you've done. Or is it number two, just a normal trade outcome? You know, we've talked about this before in terms of if you toss a coin, you have heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. You know, you, if you toss the coin a hundred times, you're gonna get multiple heads in a row, more than you'd expect. You're probably gonna get maybe a thousand times. You're probably gonna get 10 heads in a row at some point. Um, so, you know, even if you've got a really good system, at some point you're gonna have a losing streak that you need to expect to happen that is caused purely by the probability of the trade that you're taking. Okay, now, how did the, the question is gonna be, how do you know if it's that one or that one? How do you know if it's something that needs to be adjusted or something that's normal trade outcome? There's a couple of things you can do. The first thing you can do is you look at previous trades and say, hey, listen, have I had this before where, you know, I've just had a, 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 this trade strategy just hasn't worked for a while and then it's just come back into its own. If you've got that, then you can be confident in this and you can say, hey, listen, it's probably just a blip. Am I executing it as I should be? Let me check my rules. My rules say yes. Okay, I've not done anything crazy here. Um, you know, yeah, let me stick it out. Let me give it a time scale. So you add a time scale into it and say, hey, I'm going to run it now for a, a week more, a couple more weeks, or X a number of trades, and then see what happens. But at least you're assessing it early on and saying, hey, let me just make sure of this. If it's genuinely a losing streak, as in, listen, this thing is not working, I need to reassess the strategy, then maybe you haven't had this before. Maybe you can look at what you're trading. I mean, this is the way you come in as a, your trade sort of intuition and skill set comes in and says, hey, listen, does the market look similar to the, what are, the market conditions? They look similar to where they were previously when this was working very well. So it's working very, very well in this conditions, print off the charts, whatever it may be. Now compare them to today. Has the market changed? If it has, maybe you need to say, hmm, you know what, I probably need to back off on that strategy or reduce the risk exposure on this strategy until things change back to how they were again. And then you can come up with things that kind of uh, parameters that you need to see. So you say, hey, listen, I need to see at least, uh, you know, an ACR of 100, a true average daily range of 100. I need to see, you know, kind of volume. I need to see this, whatever it may be, before you come back and you start trading again. The, the thing that you can, that a lot of people do is they, they see a losing streak and they immediately panic. They mean, say, oh, it's not, the thing's not working. It's right to be prudent and say, hey, I don't want this to do too much damage to my trading account. I don't want to allow this to undo all the good work. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to pull a, a profitable strategy just because, like I said, about a thousand coin tosses, you've got an expected group of losers. So there's no right or wrong kind of answer for it. But my thing is, is to always be risk averse in this situation. OK, so in other words, you know, if you spot a losing streak, whatever the cause of it, just dial down the size. Just dial down the size, whether it's a strategy, whether it's just your performance in, in total, just be prudent and dial down the size and say, hey, you know what, things aren't going as well as they should be for me. Let me just reduce my position size. Let me just reduce the exposure, just in case this is a, a, a part of a deeper problem with my trading or I'm not in tune with the market or something. Yes, the downside is, of course, of getting back up. You would have to, at some point, increase the position size, but it's easy to do. For me, I'd rather have this scenario where, you know, I'm losing and I kind of stop the loss a little bit and it takes me longer to get back to where I was um, because I'm half size and then maybe when I realize I've got a good sequence of trades in, I can go back into full size and back up to the, you know, micro curve like this, as opposed to kind of doing this and then losing more and more and more. Because the problem you've got is not just from a pure logical perspective of, hey, I'm going to lose more, which is the obvious reason, obvious um, kind of argument for doing that, uh, for, for not doing that, should I say, and going back into half size, but the psychological damage of that because the more and more you lose, the more kind of frustrated you're going to get into it, the more concerned you're going to get into it. So my, my tactic is always, listen, 
things aren't working out for me, whatever it may be, I don't even, I'll analyze it later, just chop the risk. Reduce the position size, let's dial it down, let's see what's going on with it, um, and then let's make a judgment from there. If you think your things are okay and it's just a, and it's just a, a kind of blip in, in the normal sequence of events, carry on, uh, put the position size back up again. If you're not sure about it, then keep keep low position size. I went and I spoke to a trader uh, over in the US, went to visit him and he was a big trader. And the first thing he said was this from a trading perspective, from a pure trade perspective, he said, listen, if I don't like a trade I'm in, he was a swing trader, if I don't like a trade I'm in, the first thing I do is a half the position. I just cut half the position. And then I assess it. He says, because that takes a weight off my shoulders. It just gives me more clarity. You know, I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm fogged in and bogged in by this. I feel like I'm making my decision clearer. So chop the position in half and assess. And if then he says, you know what? It's okay, it's still fine. I'll put the position back on. If I get it at a worse price or better price, it doesn't matter. It's the price I pay for having that clarity. Um, and if I don't like it, then I can chop half again. I don't feel the urgency. So that's quite an interesting perspective. And I think you can use that from a case of a losing streak and uh, versus a normal trade outcome. If you're unsure of anything, just, just dial the risk back because over time, that'll probably do you much better than keeping the risk on and being kind of panicking about it and being more, more focused on making a decision, more urgent decision because you're seeing your equity curve being damaged. All right, guys, hope that's helpful. Um, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.